behind. I kind of filmed some of this already. I have my microphone on, so yeah, I'm redoing it. Anyway, hey, welcome back. I'm Minnesota. It's my channel, and uh, let's get right into the video. Again. I hate going to car washes. I like keeping my car clean, but I hate going to car washes because one, there's not a touchless one here. Unless I want to go to like some five dollar car wash. Actually, they all cost about the same. Unless I want to go to like some do-it-yourself car wash. Use the sprayer, and that's it. And I don't really want to do that either. I mean, I can do that, but like, what happens if I got like actual dirt in my car? I'm supposed to whip out my own rag. You're not supposed to do that, and I might get kicked out. Be a little embarrassing. Probably won't happen, but I don't want to do it. And I don't, I don't like automatic car washes because it got the big freaking. Look, I found this one product on Chemical Guys. Ecstatic. Mm. I seen the price, and if y'all know Chemical Guys, then y'all know that ain't about that. Like, now I almost bought it, but then I was like, hmm, I could just whip up my own concoction. Basically, it's like a bottle, some soap. And a rag and you can wash your car in the parking lot that's what i'm gonna do today it's been a couple weeks because the weather in texas i guess the weather anyway anywhere global warming thanks guys anyways hey we finally got good weather i'm gonna go out there and wash my car let me show you what i'm gonna use not much but get the job done yeah i'm kind of getting everything one one at a time a little bit at a time because i'm trying to practice doing a budget and all that stuff actually the first part of my kit was a gift from my dealership this is where all my products coming from. Um, until I run out of this, then I'll start figuring out. In here, I open it for you. It's pretty dope. It didn't, it didn't come with that. But yeah, we got wheel cleaner, car wash, we got polish, all that stuff. And right in there, where's my sponge? They gave me a microfiber rag and a little sponge. That's also microfiber. Uh, I don't know. I got this bucket. I took it from. Here. I seen a nice rolling bucket at the store. That was like one of those five gallon buckets. That, show, that was a hundred dollars. A hundred dollars for a bucket with wheel. Anyways, I got more rags. I just caught this brush, wheel brush, because I didn't have any way to clean my wheels besides using a rag and like, yeah, get a brush. It's like five bucks. They got different sizes. I got the half gallon bottle and that's the one uh, Chemical Guys actually uses in their package. And this was like seven bucks from Lowe's. That's including tax. It's like really like five dollars or something. It's not that much pressure, but hey, it's enough. I don't I don't go mud and all that stuff. It was enough my fir for my first time washing my car, but then I soon found out that I need way more water than that. Coming to, uh, so windshield washer fluid. I took the bottle. Thought I had windshield washer fluid. And then y'all remember when that blizzard hit Texas and it froze everything? Yeah, that's when I found out I had water in my. Yeah, I parked pretty far back, so nobody dings my doors, but somehow it still happened. Anyways, fill this up three times, uh, and that should be enough. I only ran out of water that one time is because I was washing my wheels. I was trying to do it like the way that bottle told me how to do it: spray it down with water, spray this on there, product on it, and then spray it, rinse that water off. I'm like they use a whole bunch of water. Using my rag was just fine. And it didn't make my tires look no better. It was looking old as hell. Anyways, it don't matter. I'm gonna go wash my car. I've been waiting to do this video for like three weeks, man. That's how bad. Rain kind of washed off my car. So it's not gonna be that dirty. But anyway, yeah, let's, let's get to it. Yeah, it's pretty dirty.
All right, yo, as you can see, we back inside. Honestly, it's a whole different day, and I'm standing, I don't know if I'm standing in the right spot. My camera ain't got the little flip-up screen, so I can't really got the car all nice and clean, all right? That's what happened. We got it all nice and clean. Uh, it was hot. I filmed as much as I could. I forgot my actual equipment inside. I was type using my phone, and then I cut that off. And then I had the music on. Then somebody drive by in a fast car, and then I put my earphones. I turned them up louder, so I hear that bull. In Texas, they exhaust laws is like tight, whack, man. And I'm a car person saying that. But yeah, anyway, then we doused it with water, hit it with the soap, doused it with the water again, and dried it off before the water started forming spots on the paint. Yo, is this convenient? Washing it by hand in a parking lot? Nope. I mean, I know people like having nice cars, but like, I like putting in some ground time with it. Depends on what you went to, man. I'm into that type of stuff. They got subscriptions for the car wash. I mean, it's not touchless, but you know what I'm saying? If you just want to look clean, don't want to have them rollers sit in my car. When I did go through the draft, I found some stuff on my paint. And I'm just not into that, even though I know I don't have the best paint. It's not what we're talking about right now. Uh, things I would upgrade, I would definitely want to get another uh, spray bottle. They got the gallon one, and I think that's battery operated. I'm going to go check it out. And if the uh, holes on it not long enough, I'll probably just wear it on my back like a... Uh, Ghostbusters type energy, you know what I'm saying? Except I'm blasting with water and whatnot. Yeah, really, I just, uh, I just wanted to make this quick video, show y'all how I'll be watching out there in the parking lot. I'll be getting down over here in Texas when it's not raining or dumb windy. Yeah, you can't wash your car when it's windy. Anyways, man, I got some stuff coming up next weekend. I'm gonna be shooting video for this garage, and it's gonna be a Ferrari in there. Um, I'm hoping, man. Uh, my homie Josh has to look at him. Yeah, hey, check out the shirt too. You know what I'm saying? I don't know y'all see the tie dye go crazy type. Mm. Olden brand, Two Wavy Incorporated, about saving the ocean type turtles on there. Yo, we love turtles. Hold on. Yo, yo, we love turtles. Yeah, I put a link down to her page so I can go check her out. I'm gonna catch y'all next week, man. See what troubles I can get into. Hopefully, I see y'all there. <laughs>